Now just for conclusions, there's a number of uh, new capabilities that we've added to BOP that we've described today in the area of retrofit analysis, incentives, demand response, uh, detailed utility tariffs, and uh, the, the cost-benefit uh, test. The, um, with all these new capabilities, we think there's a number of potential applications for VOP across both new construction excuse me, and uh, retrofit applications, new construction um, uh, related to uh, zero net energy uh, efforts and plans in California. So, and I've got a couple more slides on, on these first two, so I'll skip ahead. Uh, let me go over to retrofit. There's a number of potential applications here, uh, especially for utilities uh, in terms of program design, program implementation, uh, demand response programs, integrated demand side management. So we had a couple of asterisks here about uh, uh, current and, and recent use of BOPT and d and &E programs. Uh, also in uh, large-scale retrofit program. And the triple asterisk really on the Title 24, this relates to one of the previous questions, is that uh, really uh, to take full advantage uh, in the context of Title 24 standards development or compliance, uh, the best possible situation would be BOPT integrated with the California simulation. So just a couple in the ZME area, really, uh, for building design, this was uh, kind of what we initially uh, designed BOPT uh, to do. And so with the recent uh, activity in California, we think that there's a pretty good match here for architects, developers, engineers, building designers uh, for trying to find the most cost-optimal designs uh, for Z&E or near Z&E. Uh, kind of expanding to uh, state of California programs for Z&E, then, then there's a range of other possibilities here. Um, and uh, some, some of these related to, to the new utility cost test. Uh, the TDV capability that's now in BIOPT, um, and, and some of this sort of uh, planning analysis for road mapping and technology potential has seen uh, some, some use of BIOPT, and we expect that, uh, that uh, BIOPT may be used uh, in the future uh, in these er areas and these efforts as well. Uh, so in terms of future work, uh, we have uh, some plans to extend BOPS capabilities uh, to multi-family uh, buildings, and uh, we're fortunate to have uh, some funding from CSI RD&D Solicitation 5 with, uh, to combine with a DOE uh, cost match to, to work on BOPS multi-family. This is something that we've been wanting to do for, for many years. Uh, we get quite a few requests for this capability in BIOP, and we're, we're very much looking forward to, to working on that this year. Uh, so finally, for more information, uh, the, the, the BIOP website at biop.inrel.gov uh, has really a wealth of information uh, with general description of BIOP and features, uh, this is where you can download uh, version, uh, the current version uh, with all these CSI RD&D new capabilities. There's quite an extensive set of uh, videos uh, in, that you can use for self-training. There's a quite active uh, user forum and uh, an extensive set of publications. And you can ac access BIOP directly from the website as well, of course, uh, from the program itself, uh, and the help file is uh, more than 150 pages at this point. Uh, so 
you can get use it uh, for either a description or to answer your specific questions for using Beyond. At this point, we would uh, like to take uh, questions both about uh, this most recent section of the presentation, but I think also uh, on any anything that we've presented to date. 